All right, are we looking at the DVDs now? Yes, just let me get my tablet going. Okay. So I rented eight kids, seven TV shows, and five adult movies, five classic movies. So that's uh, 20 in all. Yep. All right, let's see them. We're going to start off with the eight kids. All right, let's do it. This is the first one. Is that a... What is this thing? <laughs> that looks like bacon. A piece of bacon? <laughs> oh, I get it. The eggs and bacon. Okay. Uh, wow. Wow, this looks dumb. Wow. I've never heard of it, but they already did. Wait, is this it? Oh, okay. This is a this is a Mexican cartoon. Huevo cartoon. Huevo means egg in Spanish. I actually want to look that up. Yeah, it says huevos on the front. So it's a... Oh, this is one of Devin and mine's favorite movies. We love Up. Really? Yes. So that's a good choice. We, have a, lot of, we have a lot of Up uh, stuff in our, flo in our loft. And our wedding was a, sort of an Up-themed... You know how there's the old... There's Carl Fredrickson and Ellie. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of like imagery from that, from our wedding. So, I don't understand the whole trolls thing. I don't get it. I don't know why people find it, find trolls. I think it had to just do with the pandemic. I think it was one of the only things around during the pandemic. So, that's really why I think it's... Uh, so far, three surprises. Yeah, three surprises for sure. Oh, I remember this. Really? Yeah, I remember the, the, the... I didn't know they made three of them. Are they in the circus? Yes, they're in the circus. Didn't they do that with the... With the Mad yeah, they did that with Madagascar. Oh, they're ripping off Madagascar. Ugh. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Lion King one and a half. Well, A.K.A. Rosencrantz <laughs> and Guildenstern are dead. <laughs> Three more kids. I can't wait. So far, these have been five. Not that I don't watch any of these, but these have been good picks. Oh, the original Snow White. The original Snow White is really creepy. Have you ever seen it? When I was a kid. Yeah. When the queen transforms into the old lady, that really got me. I think that was even worse than, like, the scary part in uh, uh, Pinocchio with the... Well, no, I, I give it to the... I give it to the donkey transforming, like... I don't know who it was working at Disney, but they really got, like, uh, transforming into something else against your will is really scary. What is this? Is this even a... We found a caged tiger in the woods? How did he get... What was a tiger doing out behind a motel? <laughs> oh, my that word. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to cage this tiger up behind my uh, uh, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. I keep wanting to watch this movie, but it never really I never really get around to it. Because as, much, as good as everybody says it, it still feels like another Shrek movie. And those things have been kind of driven into the ground. Okay, good haul. So that so eight surprises. Now eight time pretty for, good surprises. Now time for the TV series. Yeah, I'm trying to, like... What is this? Wait, this is the imaginary friend? I I do not get the... I do not understand the BBC. I'm going to eventually run into a British person at my work. And I'm going to ask them, what is the deal with all of this British stuff? What is this? I've never heard of this before. I don't get it. Oh, Kim's Convenience. I've never seen a single episode of this show, but everybody is always watching it. I do not care at all about Kim's Convenience. It has Simu Liu in it, but he's Chinese, so I don't understand why he's in a Korean family. I mean, you would have thought they would have at least gotten past that, but nope. What? 
use this. This looks pretty good, actually. I would like to, if it wasn't if it wasn't not available everywhere except off for DVD, I would watch it. Again, this is this could be a good thing, but it's another BVC thing that I've never heard of before in my life. <laughs> How do they keep just churning this stuff out? Nobody knows about it unless you live in the... I wonder if there's like a channel that reviews British crime dramas because that seems to be all that there are. They, they make tons of these and I've never heard of a single one of them. What's this? How come it's always season two? Don't they ever have season one at the library? I tried to look for season one, but I always find season two. You now it's nice to see that Christina Applegate's getting work. Okay, I'm afraid I'm not as impressed with the TV shows as I was with the kids' movies. Okay. But they are still surprises, mostly because I've never heard of any of them. Okay, now time for the classics. Let's see the classics. Now this is... Huh? I've never heard of this... this, this uh this role of De Niro's, and I thought I knew all of them. So this is a big surprise. Oh yeah, Bruce Lee. I recommend you watch at least once one Bruce Lee uh, movie. Do you recognize this uh, this uh, thing he's wearing with the yellow and the black? Have you seen that before? That's in Kill Bill? Yep. That's why Beatrice Kiddo is wearing that yellow and black thing. Good guess. Ah, now that's a, probably one of my favorite Stanley Kubrick movies. Really? Yes. All of Stanley Kubrick's movies are, are sort of insane, but they all are on varying levels of craziness. I watched Barry Lyndon a little while ago, and I'm watching Eyes Wide Shut. They're both on Crave. This one strikes the balance between, like, you know, boring, real, realistic stuff and crazy stuff. So I like it a lot. Is this the original Godzilla? Yep, this is the original one. Uh, Devin loves Godzilla movies. I don't understand why. It's the same thing every time. The thing destroys a city. And King Kong. That's not the original. No, it's not. And it's not the one with uh, Jack Black and uh, Naomi Watts either. So what'd you think? Um, I like the kids' ones the best. There are a couple of really good surprises in, uh, the, mo in the regular movies. And I've never heard of most of these except for... It's friggin' Kim's Convenience, which I'm never gonna watch. <laughs> so, if you... Ask somebody, what's your favorite joke from Kim's Convenience? You know, the joke that everyone's talking about. Or share a clip. No, nothing. So, if you had to pick uh, four of these for me to not watch, which four would you pick? Yeah, don't bother with uh, Trolls 2. Okay. Um, I don't think we... I think we can skip Moon Boy. <laughs> um, I think we can uh, avoid... Dead to Me Season 2, and uh, Kim's Convenience, yeah. They're not going to get much out of Kim's Convenience. It's like, well, the guy the, running the running the, the convenience store, he always thinks that he's right, and uh, he isn't, and his wife can always see that he's always right, and he has a little trouble with English. That's the joke. And if you had to pick five of these for me to watch, 
Okay. I would recommend the uh, Huevos just for laughs. I would recommend Up because this is generally a fa one of my favorite movies. Um, I would eventually, I'm gonna, eventually going to watch Puss in Boots, The Last Witch. Wish. Wish. What am I saying? Wish. La. So that's uh, one, two, three. Th the Clockwork Orange for sure. And, um, eh, I'd say Game of Death. Yeah. Game of Death is sad, probably satisfying. Really an old school card, uh, martial arts movie. So, so that's the five I would pick. So definitely the kids were the big surprise yes. of this haul. Well, the other the move the, the the TV shows were a surprise too, except <clears> I've <throat> never heard of any of them. Cuz I don't really know how to react to them, especially Dead to Me season 2. <laughs> and Moon Boy. I really don't understand the process by which we arrive at these Okay, now I'll get these back in my backpack. But, yeah, the kids were definitely the big surprise of today. Of quality of, of DVDs I picked. Right? Yep. Sorry, I'm still messaging back and forth with work. It's okay, Josh. I'm just glad they didn't do this first thing in the morning again. No, no, but it's still annoying. So we can definitely chalk this up as one of the lowest points of today. Yeah, it's annoying. Okay, it's time for me to watch the Flarekins. Fl Fl okay, sure, sure. But first I have to send something to Devin. All right, here we go. So, so that, that means I need to start a new video. Yes.